Whoa, whoa, whoa. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I got another uh, one of these stories, you know, that I'm really kind of, uh, I'm really just stretched out over. Um, and that is doing the for the constant constant bickering and badgering that go on in our lives every single day for no apparent reason. And at that at this point, you have to make sure that your skin is tough um, and that your verbiage is straight and on point in case you need to just sit somebody down and put them in his place. Okay? And that seems to be... <laughs> What happened um, with the actress? What's her name? Um, Janelle. What's that actress? Oh God, I can't think of her name right now. But I think y'all gonna love this story um, because she she was just sick of it. She's just sick of it, like most people that are people of color. We really just sick of it. And it's like, y'all don't have nothing new. And that's because that's how you know you're not original. Because you can't even think of nothing. You can't think of nothing but N-word this and N-word that. And after a while, it just gets so damn boring. It gets so ridiculous that, uh, you know, you begin to say, it, it really, is that all you got? Is that all you freaking freaking got? <laughs> I mean, because let me just give you the story. Danielle Monet Truitt, you know, and she stars on uh, Law and Order, Organized Crime on NBC. Over the past few years, she has been a rising star in the game. In 2016, her pilot with John Singleton. Uh, Rebel was given a green light on BET. During that span of time, Truett spoke to HipHopVibe.com about the show. However, the series would only end up lasting a couple of seasons. After that, Truett landed on her feet with another role in Law and Order. Now she is sharing a controversial moment. Danielle Monet Truett is not only a popular actress, she is also a talented artist. Before she was landing regular roles in TV, she was on YouTube displaying her talents. Along the way, Truett has also helped the had the opportunity to see different parts of the world. So during one of her stage plays, Truett was in Memphis. Um, shout out to Memphis. Uh, she stared in the mount she started in the mountaintop, I'm sorry, and which was a Martin Luther King Jr. inspired play. To this day, I mean to this day, the injustices that King fought to bring to an end continue. That's why I said, look, we're sick of it. We're not hallucinating. That's why you find there's so many black people standing up for Kyrie now. I mean, it's at that point, like, with all the weak uh, black people, because there's a lot of us that have been paid to not get involved in our liberation. You know, people like Charles Barkley. And, you know, it's one thing to sell our services to the country and to individuals. But it is another thing to not be given credit, to be, have been stolen from all of it, still in the music. Still in the um, residuals, and all the money always ends up back in the enemy's hands. This is something that we notice how all our usually black stars die broke, especially the ones that were in the 40s and 50s and 60s. Yet, and still, we send their children, the artists send their children and great grandchildren to colleges. Okay? And I think at this point, we're just sick and tired of being sick and tired and sick and tired of uh, people acting like we're hallucinating. So um, she said 
Oh, uh, Danielle said that she was recently on a jet blue flight where she wound up in a tough situation. Despite being a television star, she had to contend with being, again, discriminated against. Um, while she was on a flight, Truett detailed that a white man was disrespecting her. With Truett being out of her seat, she said a white man told her to get back in her cage. As a result, she cursed him to high head. After that, JetBlue wrote Truett a personal letter and thanked her for standing up for herself. Well, actually, they should have put his ass off the plane, uh, did something in terms of, well, I won't get into that. Danielle Monette Truett curses out the racist white man, and then she put a post up, and it, here's the post. She said, you know, check it, motherfuckers that try you, and those around you is a fat, oops, I'm sorry, MFs that try you, you uh, and those around you is an act of heroism. I was told to get back in my cage on my flight back to New York City last night when I asked the white man sitting in front of me to lower his voice as he was yelling at the flight attendant about not being permitted to make a phone call in first class while we were in the air. Myself and others were trying to sleep. I asked him nicely to lower his voice and was met with the most profane and racist derogatory statements. So I cussed his ass out and rattled his cage. It left him with nothing to do but to turn and shut the F up. And like I said, I think that has to happen. I think that, um, you know, once we stop overlooking this and just, you know, saying, oh, he's ignorant, I'm going to take the high road. You know, sometimes you got to take the low road, white rhythm. That's my opinion. Okay? And that way you get them off of you. Because if you don't, they're relentless. They're relentless in their bigotry. They're relentless in their racism. They're relentless in their prejudices. You know? And I would think that my white counterparts, especially those that agree, that are my friend and that are those that, that are friends of humanity will do the same thing. This kind of behavior is not acceptable and it ain't going to be tolerated. We're tired now. You know, hundreds and hundreds of years of this kind of crazy treatment, it doesn't make us better. It's making us bitter. And we don't want to be that. Okay? So, you know, this is just an ignorant story. And it just goes to show you what we put up with. It doesn't matter if we have celebrity or any of that stuff. Okay? So, put that in your peace pipe and smoke it. So, with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.